We're back with part 4 of our walkthrough. Simon is now in Dracula's castle. You can kill these dogs, so just whip them once and then walk away before they bother you again. Kill this bat before you take on the knight on the ground. If you got enough parts to spare, use sub weapons like the cross to quicker kill the knight. Carefully time your jumps over the giant candle holders. This is important because you would either jump too short or too far. Watch out for these candle holders as they fall down. These ghost ladies take two hits and are quite painful, so try to kill them quickly. The blob things keep on bothering you, so watch their movement, dodge and kill them as fast as possible. If you need energy, you'll find a big meat piece here. Another small meat piece can be found in this candle. Quickly jump over the turning platforms or you will be killed by the spikes. Don't wait too long on these blocks, cause they crack and fall down into the spike.
duck down here and throw crosses so the skeletons don't have a big chance to hit you. As with the dogs, you can kill the red skeletons, so whip them and quickly pass them by. This wall has another big piece of meat. You are caught by these hands until you defeat the sword skeleton. Destroy all the coffins before you continue. Kill the tables from here before they have a chance to attack you. Deal with the dancing pairs just like with the ghost ladies. Here's a one-up for you. Take the last piece of meat here and prepare to fight a dancing ghost pair. Stay on the lower left platform for the most time and throw your crosses. Don't worry if you get hit, you should have enough energy left to defeat them. Time for Simon to further explore the castle, so right on to stage 7. Simon finds himself now in the library of the castle. These small ghosts appear again here. Hit them three times and they are gone. If you're lucky, the knights will sometimes walk off the screen by themselves. Part 4 ends here. Stage 7 will be continued in part 5. Stay tuned!